Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ireland Collection. I'm your host Frank and this week's prompt is from my bestest friend Luke. He said talk about a movie with William Shatner in it and I know what I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about Ooh. Loaded Weapon 1 in 2007. The movie Hot Fuzz came out and I wanted to be prepared for it because I remember reading all these interviews where like they watched so many action movies as references so when you watch the movie you're going to see all these little references to old action movies and old cop movies. So I rewatched like Dirty Harry, Die Hard, Lethal Weapon, some other ones along the way. I think I even watched some Death Wish movies, Point Blank, and also you know, as I was picking up movies from the library, I said, hey, Loaded Weapon 1, it must be a spoof on a lethal weapon. So I watch it, and it is so funny. Oh my God, so Emilia Estevez plays the Martin Riggs character, and Samuel Jackson, right before he hits it big with freaking Pulp Fiction the very next year, because this movie came out in 93, which is ironic because it's also spoofing the genre of action movies the same way sort of as Last Action Hero did. And not only that, but like the detective, like the freaking um, the captain, is played by the same actor in both movies. So it's like really weird. And they came out the same year, and I know people are out there probably saying, well, you know, there's the Naked Gun movies. Sure, this is like Naked Gun, but I feel like it's more, um, they're throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. This is basically like my freaking YouTube poops, where it's like there's a joke here, joke there, joke there. There's jokes everywhere. It's not as fine-tuned and handcrafted as Naked Gun, because I feel like Naked Gun, that's like a fucking time watch where it's like so good, it's perfect. This one, some jokes land, some jokes don't land. Some jokes are humorous, some jokes aren't that funny. But it's really great, I really like it. I think it's hilarious because it's all my kind of humor, but I could understand that someone watches it and says, eh, that, that sucks. But it's like, yeah, I think it's funny. So the reason why I picked it is because William Shatner plays the bad guy in this movie. And the thing that stands out to me, and I shared a picture of it, and there's a scene in the movie where he looks at this fish tank and it has like piranhas in it, and he's like, see monkeys? <laughs> And the guy's like, no, they're piranha. And he goes, oh, you know about piranha. And he goes, like, he puts his head in there and, like, all the water boils up. And he comes up and he's got a piranha in his mouth and he spits it out. Hilarious. The thing that I love about William Shatner is that he could do drama and he could do comedy. And I feel like in this movie, he makes me laugh. So there's just certain moments in this movie that just crack me up. Crack me the hell up. I don't even know if I can spoil some things. I just know that Samuel Jackson's hilarious. One of my favorite bits in the movie. It's so stupid. But like, <laughs> there's a guy walking and he's like walking, like, you know, reading. And it's like those movies. He's like, yeah, I don't know, Chief. Something's happened here. But he's like, he's like scratching his head. And he's, you know, I have like, a, like, you know, dry flakes in my head. And then Samuel Jackson pulls out. He's like, here, you should use this. He's like, head and shoulders. But sir, you don't have dandruff. He says, I know. And it's so stupid and like funny at the same time i love it so luke i know you love william shatner you should really check this out it's got so many cameos it's got phil hartman corey feldman charlie sheen bruce willis john lovitz and some other Star Trek characters that you might notice. But it's wonderful. Oh, there's even Dennis Leary for some reason. Dennis Leary's in the movie. What? What? Anyway, go check it out. It's not as fine crafted as Naked Gun, but I enjoy it. It's a good spoof on Lethal Weapon. There's some gags in there that make me laugh. There's a... Okay, I gotta say it, because, you know, I'm, I'm giving spoilers away. Why the fuck not? There's a joke in the movie that I completely love, because it's completely silly. But they're driving... And he's like, hang on, I think we're being followed. You may be right, I think we're being followed now. Don't look! He says, I'm gonna try to lose him. The guys are gone from the back seat. And that's so stupid and silly, but it makes me laugh. I love it. It's, it's my kind of humor. It's definitely, like, if you watch it, you could say, like, oh yeah, that completely inspired what did we do and all Frank's YouTube poops. Because there's, like, a lot of stupid gags in this movie that I love. Check out Loaded Weapon 1. I know it's a National Lampoon movie, but this one is genuinely funny, so check it out. Thank you for watching this video of the Ireland Collection. If you liked it, click the like button. If you really liked it, click the subscribe button. And leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the movie, if you've seen it before. Also, leave a prompt down below. Give me a genre, give me an actor, give me like a setting, like, oh, what movie from New York City? Or, you know, what horror movie do you like? Or what Keanu Reeves movie do you like? Which we'll get to. Give me a suggestion. Not so much titles, because what if I don't own the movie? What if I don't own the movie? So just leave me a genre, an actor, or maybe like a place or time, or maybe like underrated, 
something like that. Favorite 80s movie. I don't know. Things like that. Don't be like, never ending story three. See you next Monday. Thanks for watching, guys. You'll be fine. Be back on your feet in no time.